it since last winter. Look in the junk cupboard. Of course, the junk cupboard. You'll never find anything in the junk cupboard because it's full of junk. All right, found it. Okay, good. Every year, around 200 people are admitted to hospital with serious burns related to hot water bottles. It's a frightening statistic, but one that can be easily avoided if we understand the hidden dangers associated with hot water bottles and we learn how to use them safely. Around 500,000 hot water bottles are sold in Australia every year. Of these, 90% are made from rubber, the rest from PVC. The ACCC recommends you replace hot water bottles every year or whenever your bottle shows signs of wearing out, cracking or leaking. After all, they're inexpensive and readily available. Many people suffer serious burns when their hot water bottle bursts or leaks. And that's why there is a mandatory standard for hot water bottles in Australia that covers filling characteristics, the thickness of the rubber or PVC, and the amount of water to use according to individual bottle design. Make sure you choose a hot water bottle with a large opening to reduce the risk of water spilling while you fill it. Each year the Victorian Adult Burn Service at the Alfred treats 300 patients with severe burn injuries. Burns from hot water bottles can vary from um, minor superficial burns, um, scalds, right through to deep full thickness burns. The most severe cases, the patients may need to stay with us for several weeks um, undergoing surgery and skin grafts. They're extremely traumatic, they're extremely painful and the pain doesn't just stop at the time of injury, it goes on for the entire process until the wound actually heals. They're physically and psychologically draining. Hot water bottles seem like such a harmless thing but the dangers are very real. People need to understand that. I suffer from rheumatoid arthritis and I used to use hot water bottles to ease the, the pain of my joints. Good night, Bobby. Good night, Dale. You OK? Yeah, I'm OK. On the night I was burnt, I had filled one of several hot water bottles that I've used regularly. Sometime after I filled the water bottle, I was lying in bed and I noticed my lap was all wet. The bottle had spilled along the top, about an inch long. I didn't feel it immediately. I don't know why I didn't feel the water. Because of the arthritis, maybe. My husband got me into the shower and then called an ambulance. It was very painful. I went straight to emergency and I ended up in hospital for two weeks. I was diagnosed with full thickness burns on my belly and upper thigh of my leg. I had to have skin grafts on my belly and leg. I visit a burns unit specialist every two weeks. It's been over a year since the accident and my scars still haven't healed properly. I always saw my hot water bottle as a source of comfort and way to relieve my pain. But now I'd like everyone to know that using a hot water bottle is full of hidden dangers. Karen, where's that water bottle? I bought new ones. One each. Great. Buy a new hot water bottle at the start of winter and follow the instructions for filling and use. If the kettle water is too hot, add some cold water first. Water just off the boil not only burns badly, but damages and weakens the material that the hot water bottle is made from. And be sure to remove any excess air from the bottle. Another major cause of burns is when a hot water bottle is left on one part of the body for too long. These burns can occur gradually without you knowing. Use a towel or specially designed cover and avoid leaving the hot water bottle on one area of skin for more than 20 minutes at a time. Hot water bottles should never be given to babies or young children as their skin is too sensitive. Older people with sensitive skin and people with reduced feeling in parts of their bodies should use hot water bottles with extreme care. Never sit or lean on a hot water bottle as this can cause them to burst or leak. Only use a hot water bottle to heat the bed. Take it out before you get in. 
Your hot water bottle can be a comforting friend on a cold winter night. But be aware, used incorrectly, the hot water bottle has many hidden dangers and should be treated with caution. This winter, follow the simple guidelines laid out in this video to stay warm and safe.